Hey everyone, hope you're all doing great. Welcome you all for this series on Power BI. In this particular video, I'm going to explain you about how to create a tree chart and you know, funnel chart. And before that, let's understand when to use these charts. If you remember, we used pie chart and a donut chart in order to find a relationship or in order to analyze one categorical column and another numerical column. And usually we go with pie or donut chart only if the categories are less than five. What if in case you have multiple categories, like, you know, categories more than 10, how to visualize that, how to analyze that using graphs. So that's where, you know, tree chart and funnel chart plays an important role. So let's say, for example, I want to know, I have like, you know, 17 subcategories. I want to know, you know, sales with respect to each subcategory. I want to know like which subcategory is giving the highest sales, which is giving the less sales. So for that, I'll go with a tree chart. It gives you a very colorful and a beautiful graph, you know. So just go with this tree map. After donut, you have the tree map. Just click on it and just adjust this. Yes, done. Now go to this data and just select subcategory and the sales. Subcategory and the sales. You'll get a colorful and, you know, a creative graph, creative tree chart which basically, sorry, instead of sales, I just selected a state, sorry, yeah. It's a subcategory versus a sales, which gives you a very beautiful, a colorful graph, something like this. So from this, you can understand which particular subcategory is giving the higher sales. So phones is giving the higher sales compared to all other subcategories. And which is giving least, a less box or a less area covered is like a fasteners. Fasteners is giving very less sales. Similarly, you can try with a profit as well. If you want to see the uh, you know, data labels or you know, details about the sales, go to this format option and just turn on this data labels and you can see the, the total sales. So this is all about a tree chart. You can change colors as well if in case you want, you can format labels, you can increase it. A lot of things could be done. And then there is another chart called as a funnel chart. There is one more way. This is, you know, uh, this is a tree chart, like it will create a horizontal rectangular bars. So what if you want to analyze a categories, multiple categories with a numerical data? There is one more option. We call it as a funnel chart. It just creates like, you know, funnel-like chart, funnel shape. So click on this funnel chart. Just adjust this. Yeah. So go to subcategory and go to sales. You can also select a profit as well. What it does, it just gives you the horizontal bars. Whichever has got a higher sales, that will have a, you know, a lengthier bar. And whichever has got a very less sales, that will have a very smaller bar. So this is how, you know, we use funnel chart and tree chart in order to analyze multiple categories with a numerical data. So from this, since the bar uh, for phones is like very bigger, so we can tell that, you know, phones is giving very high sales compared to all other subcategories. So this is all about, you know, tree chart and funnel chart. I hope it's clear. Happy learning.